Hey everyone, Dr. Jack Wolfson here, and I, I recorded a little video about a patient who I saw who is 47 years old, and she suffered from what's called SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection. And she was 37 years old when it happened, and now she had a what's called a you know, SCAD event, and this led to a massive myocardial infarction. It's one of the most common reasons of, for heart attacks in premenopausal women, and the medical community has no idea. Maybe they'll say it's genetic and they'll say, again, like they don't know, nothing they can do about it. But the reality is, is that there are, uh, there are th many things that cause it and it comes from violations of eating well, living well, thinking well. And inside of the live well category are environmental toxins and pollutants and, and avoiding those. And one thing that I have found very common is that people who live in water damaged buildings, water damaged homes, maybe they spend a lot of time in a water damaged office. And this leads to mold and or bacterial growth. And we can test for that uh, in the home. Uh, we can also test for mold mycotoxins in the urine. Now, most medical doctors, of course, are not doing this. It's not the way that we're trained. Certainly cardiologists are not checking this, but it is the, in the medical literature. I've got a lot of uh, videos and, and articles about the dangers of mold mycotoxins and what it does. But what I'm going to show you next is information from the lab results of this woman who I saw. And when I show you the results, I'll kind of tell you where the discussion went uh, from there. And I'm going to move my uh, picture out of the way so you can see this uh, here. And what we found is that by testing her urine, we found elevated levels of six, excuse me, six, uh, well, 11 total, 11 mold mycotoxins that were either moderately high or the five that were severely high. On this at the bottom are actually roridin and verocarin. Those are well known to be linked to stachybotrys or black mold. Other mold mycotoxins here, the toxins released from the mold, they can be found from food and or the environment. We are still early in understanding what's happening with mold as it relates to SCAD or heart attacks or high blood pressure or anything else. And again, I've got some great videos here. Now, in speaking to this woman, she told me that at the time of her event, they were living in a house that definitely had water damage. They had had a couple floods. They had gone through some remediation. They had found black mold. But she said, could this represent old exposure? And I said, we have to assume that this is ongoing exposure. And she said, well, my house is, is newer. Uh, it's six years old. And I said, again, we have to assume that this relates to ongoing exposure. So we need to make sure that you get what's called the number eight Swiffer test that is available on the Natural Heart Doctor uh, website. So you can test your urine with the urine mycotoxins. You can also test uh, your home with the number eight Swiffer. And we do that on our website. Do not listen to the medical doctors that say this is just a a uh, coincidence or, or we don't know what leads to any of your sickness, whatever, if it's high blood pressure, coronary artery disease, atrial fibrillation, or it's cancer, whatever. These are all known immunosuppressants. These are things that lead to inflammation, oxidative stress. These are things that lead to symptoms like brain fog, fatigue. This woman had also suffered from some problems regarding fertility. She says that she is about 30 to 40 pounds overweight and can't figure out why. Well, when the body is exposed to toxins, it starts to store away the toxins in fat. So it actually creates more fat in order to store the toxins. I think that's a huge factor. And as people get out of the toxin burden, uh, the weight goes down. So if you're someone who suffered with SCAD, spontaneous coronary artery dissection, uh, which are a sizable number of people. There are a lot of people here. Uh, I want you to make sure you are testing for mold mycotoxins in your body and in your home in order to prevent another event. Maybe you've got a family history of SCAD and you're looking to avoid that. 
There's a lot of different ways you can avoid that. Work with us over at Natural Heart Doctor, I think is your best strategy and, and most comprehensive, but please do not think that you're not living in a water damage home. This could be from a leaky toilet, shower, sink. It could be from you know things going on behind the walls, humidity changes, air conditioning systems, HVAC systems. It's all a factor. So please, if you suffer from SCAD uh, or any kind of cardiovascular issue, work with someone like us who knows about finding the cause of why people are sick. Conventional cardiologists don't have a clue uh, about how these environmental cardio, you know, uh, environmental toxins impact cardiovascular uh, health. So hope this information was useful uh, to you. Uh, if you like this information, yeah, continue to follow us uh, for, for more. So thank you again for watching this far into the video. We're here to help on your way to the 100-year heart.